Hi, I'm Mindy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very exciting announcement that I will be doing a huge giveaway on my channel. And this has become a annual giveaway that I do on my channel where I give away all my favorite books from the previous year. So my six year booktube anniversary just passed on July 30th and I wanted to do something special so I thought it was perfect time to do this giveaway. Shipping prices being what they are, this is going to be a US only giveaway. Much apologies. You have to be 18 or up to enter and you have to be willing to give me your mailing address if you do win so that I can send you the books. There's going to be two winners. There is a stack of horror books, my favorite horror books from the year, and a stack of everything else. The other category books. So in the comments, you'll, you can comment horror giveaway or other giveaway somewhere in your comment and I will enter you. So let me show you what my favorite books were from 2022. The ones that I read last year. Here are the horror books. So if you would like to enter the horror giveaway, you will receive this paperback version of The Green Mile by Stephen King. A fantastic, this is my favorite Stephen King book and movie. <laughs> it's so good. You'll also receive Just Like Home by Sarah Gailey. This is about a woman who has a very strained relationship with her mother, but has to go back home because her mother is not doing well and her father was a serial killer and much weirdness and spookiness ensues. You'll also receive paperback versions of two Michael McDowell books, The Elementals and Cold Moon Over Babylon. Really excited that I found this new favorite author. These are Southern Gothic horror novels. Cold Moon Over Babylon was originally published in 1980, Elementals in 1981, and they are so good. <laughs> and the last book for the horror category is The Devil Takes You Home by Gabino Iglesias. I just loved how this book was written. This is a very dark story of a man whose daughter has cancer and he loses his job and he needs to make money quick and he turns to a life of crime which leads to very, very dark things. So, if you would like to enter the horror giveaway, these books, make sure to comment horror giveaway somewhere in your comment and I will enter you. Now for the other giveaway. <laughs> I have mostly fantasy from 2022 hitting the favorites list. But I do have one science fiction, and that was Blood Child by Octavia E. Butler. It's a book of short stories, science fiction, and they were fantastic. Oh, I love everything. I have loved everything from Octavia E. Butler that I've read so far. I also have a historical 
novel, The Poisonwood Bible by Barbara Kingsolver. It's got deckled edges, French flaps. I don't know. I like those things. I don't know if everybody does, but this book was amazing. This takes place in the 1950s in the Congo and this is a time when Belgium owned the Congo and this family goes to be missionaries there and it's all of their adventures and misadventures and just gives you a picture of the time in this time in the Congo and kind of the struggles going on really really good I have a thriller the best thriller of 2022 that I read was Razor Blade Tears by S.A. Cosby and this follows two fathers whose sons were a couple and they are murdered and the fathers were not great to their sons when they were alive but they have a lot of guilt about that and they want to find justice for their sons and they go you know, all vigilante. So good. The rest of my favorite books from 2022 in the other category are fantasy books. The first one is a independently published first book in a series. This is Serafina's Lament by Sarah Chorn. Look at that cover. It's amazing. The world is dying. The sunset lands are broken, torn apart by war and ideology paid for with the lives of the peasants. Drought holds the east and as famine ravages the farmlands. In the west, borders slam shut in the face of waves of refugees, dooming all those trying to flee to slow starvation or a future in forced labor camps with no salvation. In the city of Lord's Reach, Serafina, a slave with unique talents, sets in motion a series of events that will change everything. In a fight for the soul of the nation, everyone is a player. But something ominous is calling the people to Lord's Reach, and the very nature of magic itself is changing. Past paths will converge the battle for the sunset lands has shifted and now humanity itself is at stake it's a good dark fantasy story and the last two favorites were two books in the same series. We got The Forgetting Moon and The Blackest Heart by Brian Lee Durfee. And these are big boys. <laughs> oh, they're so good. These are epic fantasies. Um, fantasy, I uh, have hard time giving a synopsis since they're so long and complicated, but I like to just read back. <laughs> it says, Welcome to the Five Isles, where, where, <clears throat> where war has come in the name of the invading army of Sor Severe, a merciless host driven by the prophetic fervor of the angel prince, Eros toward the last unconquered kingdom of Golkana. So that's kind of, that's short. 
So there is an evil coming and there is a band of heroes that have to save the day. <laughs> it's the Five Warrior Angel series. Those covers are amazing. So the other giveaway is all of these books. So if you want those books, comment down below other giveaway, somewhere in your comment. You can enter for both giveaways. You can only win one. So if you win one, you can't win the next one. But if you want, if you can't choose, you know, you can put both giveaways down in your comment. I'll be choosing the winners on August 18th, so 10 days from today. So make sure you are subscribed and comment down below. This is to thank all my wonderful subscribers. <clears throat> so make sure that you are publicly subscribed so I can tell you're subscribed or if you're someone who comments often on my videos that's another way I know that you're a subscriber. US only, 18 and up, and good luck to everyone. <laughs> I'm just so excited. It's been a wonderful six years and it is you guys that make it wonderful. So thank you very much. And I'll be back very soon with another book related video. Thanks.